morning and welcome to our thought for the day once again. Today we have a great thought. Uh, our verse is taken from Haggai chapter 2, it is verse 19, and it says this, From this day will I bless you. What a wonderful promise that is. From this day will I bless you. And the title I've given is simply this, The Day of Blessing. Let me repeat to you again that text. From this day will I bless you. What day? What day was it? From what day was God going to bless his people? What day is, is he talking about? For we need to find out so that we can know the day of blessing too in our experience. We so often say that the future is hidden from us. And so it is. But here we are told of our future. It says, from this day will I bless you. He's telling us about the future. He's telling us what's going to happen. You see, there are so many people today that will go out and buy the newspaper and look at the stars and hope to find that something good is going to happen to them. I want to tell you, friends, that when you serve and follow Christ, he will take you and guide you. Every day can be good in his presence. Not every day will be easy, but every day will be good in his presence as we prove our Saviour. And it will do us good, friends, to know the day which is referred to here in this promise. You see, there have been days of great difficulty. Are you going through a day of great difficulty, great drought? Does it feel sometimes that the way is hard? And sometimes it feels that even when you pray that you're not getting through to God. Let me tell you, God hears every prayer. Great difficulty, drought, failure of the crops, blasting and mildew, it says. And all this had taken place. Why? Because of the people's sin. But now the Lord saw his loved ones and he chastened them. And because they, they, uh, they'd been chastened, they began to obey his word. And they began to build the temple. And that's when he says, from this day, from this day, from this day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider this day I will bless you. You see, obedience always brings blessing. Obedience always brings blessing. And we're living in a day when God's church again needs to be built again upon God's word and upon his foundations, not on the ways of this world and the theories of men. You see, if we're living in any sin, the Spirit of God will need to purge, purge us. When he does, then comes the reward of his blessing. And we can experience his smile and his grace and his further revelation of his truth will all prove to be a great blessing to you and to me. But very often with greater blessing, there will come greater opposition from the enemy of our soul and from man. But also there will come a closer revelation of Christ. And I want to thank God this morning that if we have a more, rev if we have more revelation of Christ, then the opposition comes is not important because he is greater. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. In verse 22, it says this, And he would overthrow the thrones of kingdoms and destroy the strength of the kingdom of the heathen. You see, we must realize that there is no throne higher than the throne of God, that there is no power greater than the power of Almighty God. God help us to live right and to enjoy the blessing of God in our everyday living. Oh, that God would draw us closer each day to him and live a life that is more pleasing to him and so that we can experience the abundant blessing of him who gave himself for us. God help us to give ourselves to him. And the more we give to him, the more we're going to receive him. May this day be a day of blessing and, and may the days ahead be days of blessing because we are serving him and giving ourselves, we are decreasing and he is increasing. God bless you. I trust you've been encouraged and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.